got the launch of Kate Shepherd Cup in, in Parliament Buildings here in the Beehive. You know, it's a great day for sort of football and I think a, an acknowledgement of Kate Shepherd and that connection I think is really appropriate being International Women's Day. It means a lot because we've worked really hard to improve the visibility of the sport. We still have a way to go in terms of women because at the moment they're only 20% of the participation numbers but today is, is quite special because the Knockout Cup hasn't had uh, a particular name so um, being able to use Kate Shepherd is hugely special, hugely special for women and, and I'm sure that the players who play for it will understand the importance. She's an inspirational woman and I think one of the, the great things about her, and I always marvel about this actually, is that you know it wasn't how many times she was knocked down because there were quite a few times, but the number of times that she just got back up again and you know those that sheer tenacity, that determination, that real spirit and believe in yourself attitude. I mean they're great attributes that you want in every sports person, every athlete, every footballer, you know, equally as every human being. She was instrumental, of course, in women's suffrage. Uh, she worked really hard. Management of change was, was something that she was really excellent at, and she was relentless in, in achieving what she did. Uh, we see that as, as very good for, for what we want to do with the women's game, and that is we're, we're all for management of change. Using this name, hopefully, is the start of something better for the Knockout Cup and for women's football in general. By way of just exposure and people connecting with the, if you like the name Kate Shepherd, what it means in Zealand history, it's a real legacy there. And I think it's, it's just the right connection in terms of, I guess, an affirmation of women and really just giving, uh, I guess, greater strength and, and, um, to uh, women's football. They'll be a really good sponsor. I think that that's something that we, we couldn't achieve, have achieved anybody better. Um, the foundation also has um, women in mind um, in terms of football and they already contribute significantly to careers of some of the ferns and those aspiring to be fern, uh, ferns in that they uh, encourage them and help fund them to go overseas for trials and they, they, they just try and make the path smoother for these people, for our future football firms and for, as I said, for current ones. So it's really, it's really good. For the Foundation it was really a no-brainer actually. Um, the fact that we can be synonymous with such an inspirational woman and be able to touch so many people within the women's game in New Zealand, I mean this gives us far better leverage for our, you know, for our sponsorship and so for us the, the team was unanimous in their decision, we must do it, it's a great opportunity to be associated with the Kate Shepherd Cup and you know, really reach the people that need to be reached. We're going to have some 60 teams this year competing for this cup, so, so that's huge um, and the standard of football um, will be really good. It'll be competitive and everybody's going to leave whatever it is out on the field at the end of the day because they want to win and they want to achieve um, winning the first Cape Shepherd Cup. 